Welcome back to the sweet spot, which is actually in a different spot. It's still Midtown Manhattan out there, but a slightly different vista. Um, but we're here actually at one of my one of my favorite spots uh, on the island of Manhattan, the Museum of Modern Art. There's an exhibit uh, that we're going to go through today that's sort of old stuff that's also new stuff. And one thing we, we wanted to see is, does it still look new? Does it still look, look fresh? We're going to go rogue. We have our own camera guy yes, to come with do. us. This camera, that camera are gonna follow us around. And we have, we're not gonna announce it yet, but we have a very special guest from the New York Times. Yes, yes. That's gonna make might, an appearance. Who knows what, who we might run into. So the, these are the artists who are who are represented inside the that's the, right the gallery. So more um, than eighty names. And and what is what is this what is this the map of what is the uh... well one of the central premises of the show is that abstraction wasn't invented by a single person. It's not a genius sitting under a tree who's visited by a muse, but rather it's an I set of ideas that move through a network of artists and intellectuals and develop as they move. Um, so to create a visual representation of that, we decided to make a chart and we put all of the names of the artists in the show in an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> and then asked ourselves the question of who knows whom, just the binary question. And every time we got a yes and could document it, which isn't so easy to do, um, we drew a line. I mean, the show is mostly painting and some sculpture, but Guillaume Apollinaire is a poet, Alfred uh, Stieglitz is, is, is a photographer, and mm -hmm. there are choreographers and, and composers and, and writers. Um, well, well People who study modern art have always known or have always recognized that the advent of abstraction in the visual arts, sound poetry, uh, atonal music, non-narrative modern dance, began to happen at the same moment in time. But we want to suggest that this isn't a coincidence, but these are this, this reordering of the cultural universe happens because of productive relationships between players. And it starts to make sense if you're reinventing the world, if you're developing an art form where none of the rules are known, how do you figure out how to make a new type of picture? And one of the things that you do is look across and see what people in other fields are doing. Well, we're going to go into the galleries and maybe we'll, uh, we'll run get into you in there. there. I got to say, I'm a little intimidated because, mm -hmm. because what is my reference? My reference is only art. Mm -hmm. My reference isn't the world. Sometimes like, I feel like I should, I should know more. Abstraction and painting was invented around 1910, 1911. This place came along about 15 years later. So but did so, some guy right just come that, along and say, you know what, paintings aren't really about anything anymore? Well, you could argue Kandinsky did that. W weren't there serious critics at times that, that, that suggested this is merely decorative? Yeah, and these artists were very defensive about that, especially Kandinsky was very defensive about it not being, you know, it was spiritual. But there's also this idea that what you're, you're getting in some of these paintings is, you know, not necessarily a, like a literal representation of how the modern world of machinery and transportation and mm -hmm. cities and, and industry, how it looks, but something about how it, how it, how it feels and how it moves and, mm -hmm. and, and what yeah. it's like. Well, that was their, you know, they were trying to represent speed mm -hmm. and motion in the static painting. It's about biomorphic forms, uh, the colors of the world. Yeah, I mean, look in there and you can see, you can see both, you know, uh, an evocation of limbs and bodies and of buildings and machines. You've seen cities too, or at least I do in this, mm -hmm. you yes. know, kind of like cities in motion. Yeah. Yeah. Randy, what are we looking at here, Bob? You know, this is my favorite piece in the show and one of Whoa. my favorite artists ever. This is Kurt Schwitters. I and he get was, over here and look at this. He was kind of, you know, the original junk man of, uh, of modern art. It's taking in all this stuff from real life and making it abstract. It almost looks like a, you could do something with it, too. Like it looks like it's yeah, almost, almost Like you could start it. Oh, yeah, like yeah, you could yeah, crank it up. Yeah, 
yeah. and it, it would and all fly the, away. All the wheels or, would turn. Right. right. Maybe it's a time machine. It looks like it could be. You know, you've done this before. To d just be loose in here is just <laughs> such, so <laughs> extraordinary. Talking before about how you can put whatever political program you want onto abstraction. You know, this, this sort of represented, you know, you erase away all the old figurative forms. Mm -hmm. The ground is cleared. The slate is blank. Here comes the new society. Hey. It Hi. Moves. Hi. Pretty good wall, huh? Yes. <laughs> because they're picking up the format of a traditional altarpiece. But here, instead mm -hmm. of opening the wings and seeing a religious scene, you have an abstract relief. It's an altar to abstraction. And it's like all elements of a cross, but mm -hmm. there's not actually a cross. I was just in Florence, and I was looking at these like over and over and over again. So filling an old template with new forms. For me, part of the show is about how do you cross over that abyss to the idea that the picture is no longer a picture of mm -hmm. something. And, and then it gets, <coughs> meaning gets made in a different way. Well, what I wanted people to feel how difficult it is to think a radically new idea, how you don't mm -hmm. get there in one leap. And in fact, there are many moments in which abstraction is invented in the show. Mm -hmm. You see it invented over and over again in different ways, pushing further and further away from the idea of a picture that is figuring something yeah. in the yeah. world. Yeah.